What is up my homies? It's your boy Johnny to welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 3. Now last time I developed PTSD after fighting Luke Zerd. I need therapy. This time we're going to finally progress on with the story by fighting Shion. Finally. But I can already tell. We already know the drill here. She's gonna be just as difficult as everybody else. But we'll see. Since I had the Ultima weapon, Keyblade, it probably would be a bad. Yeah. For this episode, I might not commentate as much if I'm doing these fights. Just these last two fights. I'll just lock in for right now. Where is this my power if I get Zayax and um, the Keyblade Graveyard? Where is this my power at? As a matter of fact, where is this my power if I get her? Oh, she decreased our health. I just noticed. That's crazy. Alright, screw it. Raid mode. You guys for it. Man, where was this my power in the Keyblade graveyard? That's why. Oh, right. Oh, no. I just realized. Okay, I gotta be careful when she hits, because... Oh, no, I just realized. So, okay, so she's gonna keep taking me to hell. Ah, uh, this is gonna suck, so I gotta be careful. I don't think I'm gonna make this. I'm trying to avoid being hit so much. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Twelve seconds later. Okay, so I learned that the more she hits, she takes out some of your health, like your um, the extra amount of health that you have. So I gotta be careful. Not just your actual health, not just your actual health. But your base health as well, so I gotta be careful. All I know this is gonna be one another one of those episodes where it's a very annoying fight and I end up looking it up and then Okay, don't 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 Alright, alright, we're doing some damage. That's good, good. Add extra to it. Nice, nice, okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh. Stupid! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, darn it, man! I don't avoid losing my Koopa coin. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh, wait, I fumbled a little bit there, but that's okay. That's okay. I think. Uh, no, no, no. That's not okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, Xion. I know, I know you're better than this. You got me first time. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, this is yeah, actually a void. Sorry, get up, get up, get up. Things just got interesting. Heal, 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 heal. Sword, heal, heal! Why don't you just heal? Oh my god. And I already got so far. A few moments later. Come on, Sword, get up. See, that's what, that's what I hate. Oh, whoa. I didn't think I was gonna dodge that. Ready, okay, she does that. Okay, when she does that little light thing where it's like spreads out, I gotta learn to dodge. I gotta focus. 
Does that. Oh, okay, barely, barely. Get up, Zor, get up! Uh, Just focus on dodging. Just focus on dodging. Whoa! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Jump! 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 Okay, it's okay. 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 Okay, that's some decent amount of damage to our armor there. Come on, stop trying to delay the inevitable. It's over. <laughs> Three attempts? Three, that's crazy. And ooh, breakthrough. That sounds that looks like an interesting item. Wow, that's crazy. Dude, I didn't think I was gonna make that. Okay, that alright. Alright, we have one more to do. And that is Master Xehanort himself. Master Xehanort. Let's do it. Destiny is never left to chance. Judgment! Oh, okay, okay. So he, does, so he starts up with that attack. Okay, but I can't reach him. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you vanished away. Oh. Does he? Oh, I thought he takes the darkness from me. Okay, so it's not like the so it's not like the main story where he just takes the darkness from me. Here you can just wombo combo him freely. You don't have to worry about being stuck in witch call the entire time. Rage mode. It's over there. Okay, now what I expected. Whoa! Oh man, that is a cool attack. I imagine there's a mod out there for this game on PC where you change the ultimate weapon, the model of the ultimate weapon, for, and then have it as the, what you call it, to keep the uh, actual key blade, or as the text calls it, X blade. You know what, I think X blade makes more sense, but the symbol itself is called E, which makes sense, but you know. I, I kind of wish Sora actually had the key blade as a weapon. Like a, as a hidden unlocked weapon instead of just being the ultimate weapon the entire time. But then again, the ultimate weapon itself is already powerful. Whoa. What's going on here? Oh, good gravy. Oh, good gravy. Okay. Alright, screw it. Use the rage mode just to, just to risk some help. Just to risk that. Some help. I really didn't want to, but... Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Right! Oh god, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Heal! 
Oh, oh no. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. That is crazy. I didn't know my HP was gonna be dropped down like that. That's crazy. I didn't realize he was gonna. Starting to sweat. That's okay. It's okay. No way on one attempt. No way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I did it. I did it. No. Please let this be a joke. Ain't no way I did it. Ain't no way. Oh. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is. Wow. Uh oh. No sign of the boy. What a bummer. Ah! Oh, hey, it's the very god Fairy godmother. Oh, I hope I didn't startle you. Not at all. What brings you here? Well, dear, I was asked to come by Merlin and Master Yen Sid. Now, Barry is... Oh, Riku. Yes, Riku is his name. Here, I'm Riku. Why, it's nice to meet you. Now, I'd like you to tell me about the dreams that you've been having, dear. Huh? My... dreams? There's one. It was dark, and I was surrounded by tall buildings. I was looking around for Sora, when I felt someone watching me from way up high. And? And that's all I remember. Uh, hmm. But what happens next? Yeah. Oh, I know. Huh? Why Riku's dream? Oh, because Master Yen Sid was worried. You weren't having any luck finding Sora. And because Riku had been in Sora's dreams before, he thought perhaps Riku just may be the key. That's why he and Merlin asked me to come here and look into his dreams, since of course, dreams are my specialty. True. So Riku's dreams might hold the key? Yes, dear. I'm sure there's something there that leads to Sora. In my dreams? <laughs> and the other two. The other two? That's it? That, that was, that's literally it. Huh. Oh, oh, it proceeds the next episode, okay. In that case, let's do it. I will save you, I'll save you no matter what. Oh. I wonder who's the person who made this. That is a pretty nice sky, though. Oh yeah, there was something I wanted to mention about um, 
Yuzora. And the fact that this game kind of came around the same time of Final Fantasy XV. And why does Yuzora what kind of remind you of uh, Noctis? But somehow he ends up looking more like Riku. And going along with the whole Toy Story thing. Yeah, I, that's something I want to mention about that too. So that... Sora looks more realistic here. Huh. It looks more realistic than the freaking, uh... The version that you play as him in the Caribbean, where he looks like a pirate. Wow. Okay, in this case, I was gonna say, the reason why Yuzora looks more like Riku is because that design of Yuzora is supposed to be one of Noctis's, it's actually Noctis's concept design before the game was in full, was in finished, was full, finished, really finished production or something. I forget. And that's, so I guess, and a lot of people, I remember a lot of people said that they didn't like how Yuzora looked like Riku, but I guess, I, I forget, I forget why nobody liked it, but there was, a, there's reasons, but there's a lot of reasons behind it. We talked a lot already, so let's go ahead and begin. You this can see place. Oh. Is this the final world, but at night? At least I'm all here. You can see the more realistic detailing on Sora. Hey! Is anyone out there? Hello! Nope. Nothing. That's pure emptiness. Hey. Uh -huh. uh. hey. Who's that? Where are you? Over here! I see you. There he is, Yuzora. Hey, aren't you? You know me? Yeah, you're Yuzora, right? How do you know that? Who are you? I'm Sora, and actually, there's something I have to ask you. Sora? Uh, You're Sora? Huh? You know who I am? Sure. I've heard of you. If you're here, then this can't be the real world, can it? But wait, that girl, she told me about you. Maybe you are real after all. Are you done? No, this isn't the real world, and I am here. But this isn't what I really look like. How would you recognize me as Yuzora? Huh? Why are you using Sora's name? Because... I am Sora. If you are who you say, and it was fate that brought us here, then my path is clear. What? Uh-oh. Yuzora, we could talk about this. Uh. What? The city. Hey, wait. I accidentally wandered into this place and went through some trials. Then I was told to save Sora. 
Huh? Then what's with the weapon? Oh, shoot. Time to end this. Oh boy. This man is powerful. This will do it. Here we go. This will do it. Nope. Back off. Oh man, I was not expecting to fight this guy. I can't even be mad at this fight. It's too awesome, though. Oh, snap. My health is low. Again. Don't worry, I can fix it by form change. I learned that it can work by just using form change. And then... Got this. Gotcha. Oh, and he takes my items, too? Got this. Gotcha. Back at you. Got this. You are... Ain't no way he takes items, bro. That's crazy. I don't think so. It's like he's just ciphering you. Or just stealing your items by using some random attack. That's crazy. Nice try. No okay, keep hitting them. Just keep hitting them and wait until the rage gauge goes down. <laughs> the rage gauge. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm calling it that from now on, even nice though try. I'm already this late in the game. Whoa, what is he doing? What is that? What is that? Disco? Disco time? What is this? Nice light show, I guess. What's the point of this? Is this supposed to mean something? I mean, it's cool, I guess, but what purpose does it serve? All right, that's it. Come here. Oh, well, oh, that might hit the spirit. Uh, wait, what? How could... Sorry, but I don't lose. I will save you. I've been... I've been having these... weird thoughts lately. Like... like is, is any of this, this for real? real? Or None. not? None of this... makes sense to me. Whoa! Okay, so... 
okay, so in, in recording, wherever, the, wherever that cutscene was, the game completely cut it out for me. I have to, I'll probably have to find it somewhere on YouTube and put it in and show you what was going on because that was crazy. Oh my gosh. So, so maybe, so you weren't supposed to win that fight at all, right? Or were you, or were you supposed to win? Or was the, that, I don't know. That's, wow. I don't know about, I, I thought my coupon coin, okay. So in my mind, I thought the coupon would save me from that, but I guess not. That's, that's crazy. Got the sword looking realistic. Wait, I gotta fight him again? Oh, that's all this is, okay. Okay, so that's all this is. You just gotta fight him again. Yeah, there's no way of winning this. Yeah. So calmly study Yazor's, um, yeah. I, I could probably win this fight off screen. I probably might just win the fight off screen. Cause in this episode, probably not. Cause this is, this is a lot going on. All I'm wanting to say is, Here's my theory. Here's my theory. Let me just go to prepare real quick, just to not show, just not show you that game over screen anymore. My theory is this, just to explain it all again. You remember how we were in the toy store world, right? And we, and then like it, Rex kept calling Sora Yazora, and. Even Don, even Do Donald and G Donald said that it don't look don't look much like um they don't look much like him they don't look much like Sora. It looks more like Riku in a way. Even to and basically to the basically to the toy or basically to the toy the toy box characters the Toy Story characters and you know the whole World Order thing <sighs> you know how that is. They thought Sora was Yazora from legit from a video game, and we and then up to the final world where Sora showed up and she was like it, she and he was like a little transparent ghost person. We saw a little, we saw a character where who where they didn't know who they were and who they were where they came from don't remember who they were and they're trying to wait for somebody. I'm guessing that was the girl who was taken away from Yazora in that world. The girl, the the girl in the white dress, whatever, whoever it was who was taken that by a giant robot in that one cutscene. So I'm guessing that's supposed. All that must have been like what le all this, including DLC and Melody Memory, I guess, is what leads up to the fourth game. And I know there's more to it. Believe me, I know there's more to it. So I'm guessing this is gonna be where Sora ends up in the fictional world. And I'm, people making people are also making theories where Sora might end up forget losing his memory and may not remember who he is, who his friends are. He won't remember anything. He, all he remembers, all he will remember is that he has a Keyblade or something. I don't know. But all I know is that it's gonna be in the, it's gonna be a fourth it's gonna be a fourth game coming out soon. And I heard there's gonna be a missing link game that's gonna be on mobile devices. So yeah, I that is crazy. Throughout the main story and the remind and the limit cut with the secret boss fight with Yuzora, all of that in itself. There's so many theories about who Sora is as a character. I thought Sora was just and apparently they say that Sora is the main player's third life or something. Then who was the second life? And you know how he showed that one dude, that showed that other character, that another character with white hair when, when Sora first saw him? Yeah, this guy. This one who first showed up with, um, who, who reached out to Sora's heart in the, in the moment of Christ, in the moment of the crisis, whatever. That was when all the keyblades of the past, the lights of the past, and he helped fight up with that big swarm of darkness. I this is supposed to be like the player from the main back in like Union Union X or something. That's my that's my take. That's my take. As far as um Yazora, I'm not sure what his origin is. 
But my guess is that he... I don't know. But all I know is that he was... I don't know is that he was supposed to be a quote-unquote data concept. Quote-unquote... He was a concept design of, um, Noctis from Kit for, uh... Final Fantasy 15. I played Final Fantasy 15. I didn't. I, I never got to do a let's play of it because when I start playing it, I got it from. I got it as a. I got it as a game via PlayStation Plus, but I ended up buying it later when my membership was inspired expired. As far as the, as far as trying to fight, um, Yazora, I'm not gonna record it. Heck, I might not even do it. So you might have to see everybody else on YouTube doing it. As far as far as um everything else yeah as far as my, as far as my next let's play i'm not sure i haven't really decided yet i might do the sonic x shadow generations just the sonic just the shadow part of the game Sonic generations i might do that as a live stream or something i don't know actually yeah i'll probably do sonic the sonic generations portion of the game i'll do it as a live stream as for a Shadow Generations portion of it, I'll do it as a Let's Play. And if not that, then maybe do Gravity Rush 2. Because originally I was going to, because I remember one time I wanted to do a Gravity Rush 2 Let's Play as well. I haven't fully decided on that yet. But that game, I know that game had a lot of stuff to it. I, I did the Gravity Rush 1 Let's Play, so why not do Gravity Rush 2 to get that one out the way at some point in the near future? But I'd be forgetting how awkward the gravity controls are in that game. So, yeah, I think that's it for this video. So, wow, I am stunned by all that happened in this, in this video. So, anyway, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Zap that like button and subscribe. And no one the like button. Leave a comment below to anything in this game, this video, this entire Let's Play. Or this DLC as a whole. Click on the notification bell to check for more videos. If you can't wait for more, always check out my out ones. This is the John there signing out. Peace out, my homies. And may your heart be your guiding key.